Welcome to the 2023 Global Animal Disaster Management Conference, brought to you in partnership with Animal Evac New Zealand and our platinum sponsor, Four Paws International. Before we begin, we have a few basic housekeeping items. We want to bring to your attention an important update regarding the conference schedule. There was an error with the Australian Times for the New York sessions F and H on the original schedule. Please visit our website at www.gadmc.org for the updated and corrected schedule. The Zoom chat feature has been disabled. We encourage you to put your questions in the Q&A box. This year, we have enabled multilingual closed captioning. So if you would like to hear the presentation in a different language, please click on the closed caption icon at the bottom of the Zoom screen. We encourage you to use the hashtag GADMCONF in your posts about the conference on social media to help spread the word. A short evaluation will be made available as you exit the presentation. Your feedback is valuable to us and will help shape the next GADMAC conference. Finally, a reminder that the video recording of this and all other presentations will be available later this year once it has been properly edited. It is our privilege to have Professor Halil Bircek, who is a professor of veterinary surgery at Afyon Kojatepe University in Turkey. We will begin with his thoughts on safer animal rescue in Turkey. Halil? Hello. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, my presentation is uh, about uh, current uh, station uh, animal rescue in Turkey. As you know, uh, emergency animal patients present uh, special uh, challenges because their difficult position can cause immediate life-threatening problems that require rapid and aggressive interventions. Small and large animals commonly fall into wells in irrigation canals, can be trapped into holes, septic tanks, Teach smart water and ice. In recent years, emergencies affected Turkey and uh, caused uh, many, many casualties among animals than humans. Turkey is one of the country where natural or subsequent emergencies are the most common. Natural disasters, as well as individual occurrences, occur infrequently, especially earthquakes. After many disasters, animals are also affected along uh, significantly and causes financial losses. In these cases, general general directorate of emergency management and fire departments are the leading uh, institutions responsible for helping the animals when they are in a difficult station in order to minimize the loss of life and property. Veterinary services are also engaged in various conditions in terms of animal health. Six months, months ago, two Devastating earthquakes of 7.6 and 7.7 .7 magnitudes struck 10 provinces in southeastern region of Turkey on February 6 this year. According to the latest official documents, 50,000 people lost their lives. And the effects of this tragedy still 
continue months after the earthquake. One sixth of Tur Turkey's population, more than 13 million people, is thought to have been affected by these earth earthquakes. Also, many animals have affected by these earthquakes. Thousands of animals have been rescued from under the rubbles. For example, a cat has been pulled from wreckage three weeks after this devastating earthquake. Thousands of animals were severely trauma traumatized. Dogs, bulls, goldfish, animal rescuers in Turkey were saving them. Rescue workers, animal lower, non governmental associations worked with the local authorities to save dogs, cats, birds, and other animals. Still trapped under the rubble, they also responded to requests from locals to find their pets. You see the picture here. A dog saved after spending a 90 house buried under collapsed building. In Turkey, 24 years ago, there was a big earthquake in Marmara region, Istanbul, and other uh, cities. At that time, uh, this uh, earthquake was the turning point in disaster planning and reorganizing of the government. And a new association was uh, established, its name AFAT. It is Prime Ministry Disaster and Emergency Management, AFAT. And also AFAT in, currently is the uh, first uh, governmental association and the other fire services are uh, responded to emergencies. Currently, modern animal rescue techniques are being used more effectively day by day. To, to give a concrete example, six, more, six years ago, three months old Kangal dog fell into a 70 meter deep water well in Istanbul. During uh, 11 days, Emergency rescuers, fire fighters, and uh, volunteers tried to rescue uh, the puppy dog. And uh, after eleven days, uh, any uh, the rescuers uh, used a new method and saved the puppy from the well. This was. Uh, uh, uh, by uh, shown shown by all TV channels in Turkey, and you see here oxygen mask after rescue of the dog. One of the main reasons for losses of animals in difficult stations during emergencies is the lack of equipment and personnel of the relevant private and public institutions. In addition, the lack of sufficient awareness of animal welfare affects the success level of search and rescue personnel. Veterinaries and vet technicians support search and rescue personnel in these cases for supportive care. In order to carry out a successful recovery process, various professional groups work in cooperation. In Turkey, there have been positive steps regarding, regarding modern animal rescue, especially in the last 10 years. In order to conduct, conduct successful animal rescue operations, agriculture and forestry directorates in provinces and districts collaborate with emergency directorates and fire brigades. Uh, 14, uh, 14 years ago, we started first animal rescue project in 
Türkiye. İnharan Üniversitesi Sanlı Urfesi ki e, Southeastern Region of Turkey. The project title was Capacity Building for Decreasing Animal Losses from Flood in Sanlı Urfa. Because that year there was big flood in Sanlı Urfa city and European Union started a uh, a project in this area. And our project was about animal rescue. In the project scope, veterinarians, emergency personnel, firefighters and geographers, educated volunteer young people. And we established volunteer animal rescue teams in San Nurfa city. Also, we we achieved first international animal rescue conference in Turkey and uh, animal rescue event following the conference jointly with Royal Veterinary College and Hampshire Municipality Fire uh, Department. Professor Josh Slater from Josh Slater of uh, Royal Veterinary College and Jim Green of Hampshire Municipality Fire Service of in Uyki. They uh, helped very much us because they uh, they bring uh, we purchased from UK UK United Kingdom uh, a mannequin horse and all all ceilings and other uh, animal rescue equipment we awarded after the project these uh, these uh, equipments to sanurfa fire department currently these equipments are used by fire uh, firefighters in sanurfa city uh, municipality fire department you see, uh, yes, uh, that project, uh, uh, uh, that project uh, objective, prevent to prevent flooding and uh, to decrease its effect in the long term through local institutional capacity building. Our specific objectives were to improve the capacity of governmental and non-governmental organizations in flood management. Yes, uh, as, as I uh, said before, uh, first international animal rescue conference 14 years ago in Turkey. This is uh, the cornerstone of animal rescue uh, term, introduction of animal rescue term in Turkey, because uh, BARTA, British Animal Rescue and Trauma Association, uh, collaborated uh, with us, uh, Professor George Slater and Jim Green, invited speakers, they, they, they were invited speakers. As you see in the photos, um, uh, all equipments were seen and uh, the invited speakers uh, uh, gave information to participants. You will see uh, uh, the uh, ceilings and uh, how to use and uh, fire craves here in the right side and the volunteer teams uh, who participated the conference. One day after, in the uh, fire service field, we achieved animal rescue event by mannequin horse. Uh, with participation of uh, volunteer teams, fire crews, 
search and rescue personnel, veterinary students, and uh, veterinarians in Şanlıurfa city. You see uh, gl gliding techniques uh, in the right, uh, Professor Josh, and in the left, Jim Green. And uh, this, uh, it is seen how to rescue the American horse. This is a Hampshire, uh, Hampshire uh, sling, original Hampshire sling. You see, uh, we use this uh, Hampshire sling. Uh, we purchased from United Kingdom. Yeah. You see, after the rescue, uh, experimental rescue operation. Yeah, these are uh, volunteer uh, students. Uh, they they are they were trained about um, principles of animal rescue, first aid, and uh, they said uh, good wishes. I learned how much importance was give, importance was given to animals with this. A project. We have learned a lot of useful information in this short time. Animal Rescue is the first project I participated and this has increased my animal law. How happy if we could say an animal. These sentences uh, are stated by the students who participate in our trainings. Also, I want to I want to inform you about the, our second project. Uh, this is uh, about uh, forest fires, animal rescue, and first aid in uh, to animals after forest fires. Because two years ago, uh, very big uh, forest uh, fires in Mediterranean region of Turkey. You see in the map. Uh, in the up, thousands of animals perished above, among these massive and ongoing forest fires across Turkey and other countries. Really, it is a very uh, uh, uh, effective uh, and uh, have broken the hearts of weavers. There is yet no exact data on the number of killed forest animals. Veterinarians help to treat animals. Animal lower associations uh, established mobile uh, animal hospitals in the uh, fire uh, area, near fire area. All uh, veterinary faculties sent their uh, clinical persons to uh, fire area for treatment of uh, animals. For example, uh, yes, you, uh, you know the heartbreaking image of animals uh, trying to escape the flames have appeared. Uh, smoke, Inhalation killed unknown numbers of sheep, cows, cats, dogs. Especially tortoises were affected because they uh, slowly uh, acting and other animals. Animal owners usually try to rescue with primitive methods that cause suffering to the animal. Perform successful intervention partnership between firemen, veterinarian, and qualified, qualified volunteers is necessary. Indeed, they collaborated. Similar conditions are seen in many countries. After these uh, big uh, fires, 
forest fires in Turkey, we started a project titled as Let Animals Breathe Easier in Fires. Yeah, this uh, scope uh, to train firemen, which encountered to uh, forest fires. Uh, we started to give seminars to firemen uh, to increase first aid to animals undergoing difficulties as fires and other emergencies. Target groups were firemen working in fire departments of Asian region cities in Turkey, Izmir, Kütahya. During seminars, firemen were encouraged to use oxygen masks for animals exposed to fire. This is fire person, fire service. You see the photo, uh, fire uh, personnel, fire crafts of the city in uh, Izmir. Uh, we, we gave seminars them because, because they uh, rescues hundreds of uh, animals from cats to snakes. Uh, uh, also, they need basic animal rescue information uh, after fires. That uh, if uh, enough intervention, at, at effective intervention is applied, the animals is not further injured by inappropriate actions. Uh, uh, our uh, contents uh, of seminars carrying out physical animal handling, restraining, and the collaborating with veterinarians for first aid, uh, safety of both uh, animals and both the risk for emergency management, uh, emergency care, uh, also evacuation techniques. As you know, uh, According to an American Veterinary Medical Association, AUMA, it's estimated more than 40,000 pets die in fires each year, especially for uh, due to smoke inhalation. Uh, the, the reality in most cases is that first responders lack the equipment, especially oxygen mask because uh, anatomic uh, differences of human and animals. Human oxygen masks do not, uh, should not be applied to animals and uh, special masks is necessary to resuscitation. Fire craves uh, uh, do first response in forest and house fires. Like other disasters, Firefighters give priority to human rescue. Thousands of dogs, cats, uh, and other animals, uh, pets die in house fires every year. In our, uh, as you see, uh, pet oxygen mask in the left side, uh, these um, we encouraged to uh, we encouraged fire uh, crafts to use these masks. Certainly, these pet oxygen masks are not used in Tur Turkey. And uh, not very expensive, these masks. I, I suggested to directorates of fire services in Asian region uh, to purchase these masks. And uh, they agree with me. Uh, as I uh, say, uh, using these masks for animals under uh, smoke inhalation, 
these masks should be available in all fire break brigades. And I, I collected good practices around the world, especially uh, in United States of America. Uh, there is a, a project, Breed, Breed, uh, uh, Breed, I think its name. And uh, uh, uh, in in United States and in United Kingdom, uh, these masks are used and donated by animal lovers to uh, to fire services. And also, I uh, fo uh, focused about tortoises uh, in the seminars because of reptiles affected by forest fires because uh, they they uh, acting very uh, slowly and uh, we recommended uh, to use uh, these uh, oxygen masks as in UC and other countries i i performed surveys research for for uh, firefighters uh, to collect information related with animal rescue capacity, uh, I I believe uh, I uh, they agree they they are very satisfied uh, by these seminars with awareness activities, seminars and events. Animal rep rescue capacity of firefighters will increase. Student study will also contribute to animal rescue strategies in case of fires in Turkey. Also, uh, at the end of the presentation, I want to inform you, we published first technical animal rescue book uh, with collaboration of Turkish veterinaries, rescue experts, uh, three uh, years ago. Is Turkish name Hayvan Kurtarma, Animal Rescue. I want to say all the, in all the disasters, uh, rescuers focus to rescue humans and animals are neglected. To overcome these difficulties, institutions, universities, Veterinarians, rescue emergency uh, associations could uh, collaborate and the uh, experience and also uh, trainings will enable the management of operational risks. Thank you very much and uh, for your attention. Thank you. Khalil, thank you so much for sharing all the hard work that you and others have done in Turkey. Eh? And we appreciate you being here this morning. Do we have any questions for Khalil? If not, then we unfortunately will have to let you go for now. 